shown here is a preview picture from version 7. As you can see over here in the left here, we're showing a drop-down option for create curves. In version 8, we don't have that right now. Also, I would like to be able to show is how to add this feature to Mastercam 8, being creating the option for the buttons, the bars, and the drop-down motion. Also to the right here, as you can see, is that we've added Find Overlap C Hook to an existing uh, delete options. So in this video, we're going to go through how to add these options. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And you can see we're in Mastercam 8 now. Okay, let's start off with the option of creating Find Overlap C Hook. So you have two options to get to your customize. One is in the course of an open area under Customize, or right-click and you'll find under your right-click menu at the very bottom, by default, it's at the very bottom, in this case I've added more icons, and I have Customize here. So we're going to look with starting off with the Find Overlap C-Hook. So what I'm going to do is expand out our Delete and Undelete. We have our main menu for that, and then we have our sub-menu that actually creates where the drop-down comes from. So I'm going to want to go ahead and add from over here to the left-hand side. We'll go to Mastercam C-Hooks, Find Overlap. I'm going to select right here, because if I select this first part where it says Delete Duplicates, it's going to actually create it as a different menu underneath, and it'll actually add an extra button up here at the top. We don't want to do that. We want to actually have it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and say Add. You'll see it pushes it down toward the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that right up here. I'm going to say, I'm going to overclick on top of separator. It'll bring it up, and then I can just drag it one more time. Okay, using the left button to drag it up, and I'm going to have to, of course, reorganize a little bit here to get this back in the order. But you can see now it's added to this option for the submenu in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that, say OK. And now we go up here to our options for delete duplicates you'll notice that we do have the Find Overlap C-Hook. I'm going to also show you that comes up is how to remove that, because it's a little tricky, I find out, when using it. So I'm going to come in here, and I would think that if I selected it, and then right-click and say Remove, it would remove. Or select here and say Remove, and it would remove it. Maybe I need to be here. Let's try that real quickly. Let's say C-Hooks, and let's say that one's highlighted, and Remove. You'll notice it's not removing it. So right click, remove submenu. So it actually moves that as a submenu from that existing submenu. Now when I select it and right click and say remove, you can find that it removes that. And you'll find it's no longer added to the system. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the option for the create curves as that we right click and we check. Let's see, do we actually have a create curves option? And it looks like not as under our toolbars. So we're going we're gonna to actually create a new toolbar. So looking in our toolbar options here, I'm going to right click and say new toolbar. And I'm going to call that create curves. You'll see it puts an asterisk next to it being a new toolbar. It's added at the top in this case. And what I'm going to want to do, I know if I right click, I don't have an option for a sub menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have add something, then I can create that submenu so we can get that as a da standard drop down with at least one option defaulted. So in that case, let's go to here, over here and let's go to geometry and let's look for the create curve option. So create curve, one edge is going to be our default start. I'm going to go ahead and select here and I'm going to say add. I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one and I'm going to select all the way down curve, curve L edges. I'm going to left click holding the shift key down and add those. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first one, create curve one edge. That'll become our default. I'm going to right click and say create sub menu. So now we've got a submenu. If I go over and actually set, set turn that on, you'll see we'll have a complete, without this submenu, you're going to have a complete toolbar. In this case, we want to be able to have that button option with a drop down. So to be able to create that, I'm going to take the next one down, because this is already added, and I'm going to hold the shift key down and grab the rest of those. 
and I'm going to go ahead and drag those right underneath that one. I'm going to hit apply. Well, actually, before I hit apply, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And say apply. Say OK. Now you can see here's our bar. I'm going to actually add that right up over here. First one defaults to create curves one edge. And then when I come over here to our drop down arrow and left, you have the whole option of create that. Now, if you'd like to have a toolbar and an option, sub menu option, that's when you would actually go back in there and actually have, in the case like you saw me delete, where you have your main one for delete, and then sub menus under that. So we could do the same thing. We could actually take these and duplicate them or add them as another menu underneath here and creating a direct toolbar where you don't have a sub menu. I hope you find this useful and helpful uh, using Mastercam 8 for precision programming services.